Hi everybody, thanks for joining Create with D. Today I have a super cute little Easter or even Valentine's project for you. This one I'm calling my love bunny because I have the heart designer series paper on there. These are made using the new Sweet Cups in the 2019 Occasions Catalog by Stampin' Up. Oops. And it's kind of a combination of punch art and die cut art. So let's get started making these cute little bunny containers. I'm going to show in this video how to apply color to the container. Now these are food safe containers and um, they have a little waxy residue. You can see the shine on it. So it's a little waxy, but it can take color and I'm gonna use um, the spritzer tool as well as the reinkers to apply whatever color that I want on it. Now, um, please stay. Please note that you can just so just skip the spritzing part and go to the punch art. So I'll have about what time you can move ahead if you're not interested in spritzing it. But I think that's what's going to really add value and versatility to our sweet cups. Okay, let me show you how I did that. I've got a spritz station set up so to protect my area around here and so a little box works great and I've got my Stampin' Spritzer and in it I've got refill, uh, I'm sorry if a mingo, a couple of drops of the ink refill with some um, rubbing alcohol. I'm getting down to the wire here but it still works, you just always want to shake it up. I've done several of these um, and then just make sure you've got your nozzle going in the right direction and spritz. And you want to, um, you don't have to go crazy over coverage because with this being waxy, it will tend to spread a little bit. And so I'm going to set the lid off to the side for a second. And now for the container, I like to go ahead and pick it up and rotate it as I spritz. You will see some beads drop on it and that's okay. That's going to just kind of be the nature of it. And actually, I think it has a pretty cool effect to it. So... And you want to make sure that, you know, you be prepared to set this aside to dry as well as wash your hands afterwards. So I'm just going to lightly spritz it. And I'm kind of running out of things, um, but that's the idea. I'll come back and redo this one, but um, we can let these dry while we um, go ahead and make the punch art face. But let these dry completely, and really by the time we get done with punch art um, creation with our face, these will be all dry. So here are the punches and the dies that I used to create our little bunny for our treat, our sweet cups, using the layering ovals. Um, this is one die cut. It's a two inch. Um, and then for his inner ear, or her inner ear, this is going to be two and a fourth. And then for the feet, uh, these are going to be two and a half. So those are the dies that I'm going to use. And with the ears and the feet, those are Whisper White. And I'm using, um, in the, both samples here, it's designer series paper from the All My Love designer series paper pack and the Occasions catalog. Also in that same designer series paper, we're gonna need six um, half inch circle punch and in basic black, two in the half inch. For the one inch, two in crumb cake and two out of our designer series paper. And um, with the three fourths inch, two for the eyes. And then um, this little heart here came from the dog builder punch. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's put our little bunny components together. I'm gonna keep things on this backing because it's a little easier to see. And I have my take, take your pick tool from Stampin' Up. And I've gone ahead and taken the caps off of it. And I've got the paper piercing end on it. And then we're gonna use the tacky um, you know, end of it quite a lot actually. Okay, so first thing for the ears, what I'm going to do is glue down the ears and I'm using multi-purpose glue. And for those of you um, that might get it for the first time, you definitely want to have the lightest of touch when you do it because it's super strong and you don't need a lot of it in order for it to hold. So, you know, don't overdo when you use your multi-purpose glue. So I'm gonna get these little images here. And as you see, what I like to do is I kind of put the ovals down towards the bottom. So that's done, ears are done, hooray. <laughs> so now let's work on the feet. And what we're going to do for the bunny feet is we're gonna make um, the pads for the bottom. 
And so I'm gonna put, actually just use four dots, one down at the bottom, and then do one at the top, left and right. Top, left and right, and one down at the bottom. And you've got plenty of time before that, you know, it doesn't dry instantly or anything. So now see how that's so nice to pick up with the pick up part of the tool. You can just grab it and place it. And if it's got an orientation, you've got a little wiggle room on how you want to um, put that in. But I just absolutely um, love the idea of using this floral paper for my bunny, whether you do it for you know Valentine's Day or Easter or just any time to make a fun little character. Um, you know, use your designer paper, it doesn't matter what it is, and have a little theme to it. Okay, so now we have our paws made. And now we'll go ahead and, let's see here, we'll make his cheeks. I'll bring this in so you can see what I'm doing. I'm taking the Memories and More journaling pen, and I'm going to make three dots in a triangle shape. And I like how smooth this is. To make the to make the dots, you could use maybe a you know whatever um, fine tip marker that you have that's got a little velvety like a fine tip sharpie or something. But I have the journaling pins and I love them for journaling and for doing these type of things. So we can set those aside. Now we're going to make his eyes, and again I'm going to put a little dot of our multi-purpose glue. Now I can easily pick up the half inch circles and put it down towards the bottom. You can make the eyes however you like. This is just my personal preference. I kind of like it when they're down low. Okay, we've got all of the punch art um, components put together now. I've brought in our container that we did our little spritzing on. And I do want to show you something I discovered that if you apply a heat tool on it, it kind of um, definitely dries it up. It's, it's dry to the touch right now, but it changes the color of it slightly. Um, I don't know if it will show on camera or not, but it kind of toned this down. The sides, not so much, but just a little bit. And I love this funkiness that it does. I love it. Look how fun that is just to do it that way. But we're going to decorate him for Easter. So now I'm going to use the lid as the canvas to make the face. I like to put the eyes on first. So we'll do that. And get that and you know kind of um, like if this is the center of the cup kind of put the eyes just a little bit above center and I always like to have it um, look just a little like the face look a little cross-eyed that's just me that's kind of how I like it but you can have whatever um, I guess look that you would like of him there we go so it's down a little bit and I do have it so that the circles are slightly touching on that. Next, what we're going to do is take our little muzzle part and we'll get two Stampin' Dimensionals. And again, if you watched my other bunny punch art from back in the day, um, this is very similar, but maybe it's a refresher. Maybe this is the first time that you've seen punch art. So welcome, It'll, it's kind of a game changer. So I like to put our three little dots of his muzzle kind of down you know, off to the bottom. And I'm going to overlap his eye just a little bit and do it just about center. And then same thing on this one and overlap the circles. Really, this can be the start of a whole lot of characters. Like you could almost make a dog, a cat, um, you know, just anything that has that kind of a look on an animal, um, any you know, in, anything in the cat family or the dog family, I think you could so do that too. Put some little buck teeth on him and he's a chipmunk, just, you know, whatever you'd like to do. So on the heart, what I did there is I put a little glue dot. And with our white Baker's Twine, 
and we're going to cut about oh four inches of of twine of baker's twine and this is again whisper white and you know just whatever length that you're feeling what i'm going to do is on the heart i'm going to make a kind of an x shape and so i'm going to can use my tool there to kind of make sure that the strings down the baker's twine take my other one now here's where my X comes into play and with your nail or with that you can kind of tack it into place and grab another glue dot and put over top of it I found that if I tried to not put another glue dot down that there wasn't enough glue space yet on the surface for it to work. So I put another glue dot on top of it. And then this one goes kind of in the middle. Okay, so we've got that. And we'll go ahead and grab a mini dimensional. What did I ever do without these minis? Cut, cut, cut all day long, but I love them. And then that one kind of holds it into place. We can go back and trim these whiskers of our bunny down in just a little bit. Now it's up to you whether you put the heart right side up or um, upside down. I like the upside down quite honestly, but I did the, um, the right side up just so that you can see the difference between it. And you know, however you like his little whiskers, you just kind of spread them apart. I thought this was a cute little accent. It's optional, but we'll show you this. I added some crumb cake weave ribbon around the edge of the, um, of the container cap. And so we'll get out our tear and tape. And we can start it in the middle of where his face is at because we'll make a little bow and that will cover that up. So just kind of wind this around so then we'll go ahead and take the covering off of the tear and tape and you can go ahead and keep your ribbon on the spool and if you wanted to you could do this before you started the bunny face and then just follow the tape around make sure that it's tight on there and then with your paper snips and that's okay that you have that little opening we're gonna put a bow there we'll do that last okay it's just gonna be we want that down before we put the ears on with the ears and our bone folder what we want to do is um, um, go ahead and take it and kind of curl it backwards like you would a, like your curling ribbon because since this is so flat, I like it that the ears kind of um, fold back just a little bit. That way they're not standing up quite at attention. So just grab it down at the bottom, give it a couple of curly cur cues on it. And with tear and tape, what we wanna do is go ahead is, and clear down at the bottom of each ear, put tear and tape on it. Oh, cute. Oh, my lantis. Okay, so now it's time to go ahead and put on the feet. Um, I like to have the seam in the back. So we'll put our little sweet cup together and he is so sweet. Now with the feet, I just found taking Stampin' Dimensionals, the normal size is just fine. Put them down towards the bottom of our feet, of our bunny feet. And now these, we want to be fairly close. Like, so if here's the seam of where we're gonna put the ribbon, um, we'll go ahead and kind of angle that. Take that one off. 
And please note that I am aware that, you know, it's going over the cap for the treats. Just, you know, when you're putting things in it, you'll just be careful and, you know, give yourself that room. So that's why we don't put anything up close to the top of this foot. Last thing to do is make a quick little ribbon. So again, I'm just using the crumb cake ribbon. And just freehanding a bow. Get my handy dandy glue dots. See where they're at, there's one. And on the back side, just pick that up. And cover our seam that we have. And he's done, he is so cute. Well, let me bring in some of the other things that I've been doing with the sweet cups. Well, here's our other bunny. So this is just using, um, like this is cardstock using the matching, um, this is Settles Collection Designer Series paper. And you know, going from that, so that's kind of cute. Here, so here's another cute little container that I made and this uses glimmer paper. And if you are wanting a template of the wrap, I do have so that you can go ahead and cut your own designer series paper for it. I have a free resource on my blog. Um, it's the template, so you can just print that out, trace it onto some cardstock, and you're ready to go for that for you know using it to wrap around your sweet container. Well, again, if you like this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel. Um, if you have any comments, leave it below on this. And also in the description of this video, you can go to my blog and see everything that I use to make this if you wanna see if you need anything to complete it. Thanks for watching everybody and happy crafting. Bye-bye.